tomorrow. tips on how to talk to your gym crush. Finally, you get to talk to that fine piece of booty. Thank you, God. So let's get, oh, what is going on with my hair today? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. I'm very excited. You're very excited. You're going to get that number or the ring on that finger, girl. <laughs> Tip number one. If you can't approach your gym crush, you make them approach you. And how do we do that? Well, it's quite simple actually. You appear approachable. Now, I'm going to give you guys a few tips on how to come off approachable, how to come off welcoming, where people feel comfortable coming up to you and talking to you. But... Before we continue on, I actually want to talk to you guys about a heavy topic. By no means, I'm not trying to make anybody feel feel bad if they have this. Because I know some people are born with this, some people catch this. In fact, I have caught this a while back and it's not easy. It's definitely not. It, it cripples you from meeting new people. It, it's just a very hard process to go through and... If you guys don't know what I'm talking about by now, I am talking about the RBF syndrome. Oh man. The resting bitch face syndrome. It exists. Resting bitch face syndrome is a huge issue, especially nowadays. It's like the popular thing to do or whatever. I mean, like I said before, some people are naturally, they just have that. But I just want to say, if you want your gym crush to approach you, girl, you better stop that because it is not cute, okay? The problem is when people see that, nobody wants to approach you. They're like, oh, a lot of girls think that they look like this. But they really just look like this. Yeah, yeah. Cut it out. It's not working. And how do we get rid of this issue? Well, it's quite simple actually. You just smile. You see that? You smile, okay? It's not that hard. Another tip on how to be more approachable is eye contact. Yes, you actually have to look at your gym crush in the eye. Eye contact is everything. I mean, I have this problem myself when I'm at the gym. I'm just like, oh my god, girl, he's coming my way. Oh my god, he's so cute. He's so cute. <laughs> Did he, did he see me, girl? Did you see that? He was looking at me, I think. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have three kids. No, not if you don't make eye contact. Girl, eye contact is everything. When you make eye contact with somebody, it says, one, that you are confident, okay? And confidence is sexy. 
Two, it says that you're not afraid to make connection with somebody. You're not afraid to connect with anybody. And once you make that eye contact with somebody and they look at you and you look at them, you or that person both feel obligated to say something, you know? So eye contact by itself can just rock it off your friendship. Also, another tip on how to be more approachable is headphones. Yes, headphones. At the gym, when you wear headphones, it says, do not talk to me, okay? Don't come my way. Don't approach me. I am in the zone. And if that's your goal and if that's what's happening, you're trying to avoid people, then yeah, go ahead, girl. Put your headphones on. But if you were around your gym crush, you need to not do that. A lot of times, nobody wants to be that one person where somebody's jamming and then you, that, that person comes up to me and they're just like... Yeah, can I help you? Nobody wants to be that person. Moving on. Now, what if you do all that and your gym crush still doesn't approach you? Well, you talk to them. You break the ice with them. And how do we do that? Now, there's so many things that you could say to break the ice. Um, first things first, my number one rule on breaking the ice is do not overthink it, okay? A lot of people, before they go up to somebody, they like to pep talk themselves. They're like, all right, Julie, listen up, listen up. You're gonna say this, and then he's gonna say this. And then next thing you know, you're having a whole conversation in your head with this person. And then finally, when you get enough courage to talk to them, they already left the gym. Okay, so don't be that person. Don't have an entire conversation in your head with that person. I mean, if that is what you are going to do, if you're gonna have an entire conversation in your head with that person, girl, you might as well just go out to him and be like, <laughs> hey, so, uh, I, I don't think you know this, but, uh, we've been dating for six months. <laughs> and that's how you get a restraining order. Don't do it. Don't do it. Instead of that, what you need to do is just go. Just just do it. <clears throat> just do it, okay? Go and talk to that guy. Do not hesitate. Don't overthink it. Don't give yourself time to overthink it. You could say so many things. I mean, you're at the gym. The gym is the perfect place. It is one of the easiest places to go up to someone and talk to them. So, I'm going to give you guys some lines that you could say if you don't know what to say. You can go out to them and be like, hey, so what are you hitting today? And then they, they'll tell you what they're hitting and you can be like, you can branch on to another conversation talking about what you like hitting. So you can be like, yeah, I love hitting arms. Or, yeah, I love hitting booty. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't say that, okay? Just continue the conversation with them. Once you start, once you break that ice, that conversation can branch off into other things. Next line, I have actually done this before, but I've done this to people that I'm not even interested in. I've, I've done it because I genuinely care. Um, which is you go out to somebody and you say, hey, uh, I saw you doing that exercise. That looks really cool. I was wondering if you could show me. This is something that I've done and I've made so many friends through this because people, when they hear that from somebody, they feel like, you think that like, I know my shit. That's so cool. They feel like honored. They're like, oh, she picked me. So they're more likely to be, you know, to show you what it is. Or another one, I feel like, I feel like this is my least favorite, but it's pretty common. People say this a lot, and that is, how many more sets do you have left? And when the other person responds to the question, let's say they said two more sets, you ask them, can I join in with you? So once you do that, you know, you're technically working out with them so you can you feel more comfortable continuing the conversation going on maybe you can be like yeah by the way like my name is julie what's your name yeah i've seen you here a lot blah 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 
just keep going. Don't be scared. And last but not least, how do you make that connection? And I'll tell you how. There's two awesome ways to do that. One is laugh, okay? I'm telling you, girl, guys love it when girls laugh. Just laugh at their jokes, even if it's not funny. <laughs> yeah, don't laugh like that. Laugh all cutesy like... <laughs> okay, do what works for you. People are automatically more attracted to people that are happy. And laughing says that you're happy. Laughing says that you're having fun. You're enjoying life. So laugh, okay? Just do it. Guys love that. When they hear a girl laughing at their joke or whatnot, they feel like a boost of confidence. They're like, huh, she thinks I'm funny. <laughs> yeah. Another thing is touch. I mean, physical touch is another way of connecting with somebody. I'm definitely not saying that you go behind somebody and grope their booty, okay? Don't do that. Don't do that! That's how you end up with a restraining order. Don't do it. What you do is simple, simple things where you could kind of once, when you're talking to them or something, you can kind of like, while you're laughing, you can kind of like slap them on the shoulders or like kind of like nudge them a little, like, you know, just simple, cute things like that. You make physical contact with somebody, it says that you are comfortable with them. It says that you are interested in them a lot of times and it's just, it makes you connect with that person on a deeper level. Now keep in mind that not everybody likes to be touched. Therefore, um, observe the person, observe the guy before you make that decision. Because that's very important. Because you don't want to end up in jail. Or with a restraining order, depending on how you touch them. How you touch them. And now, if any of these three awesome tips did not work, I know a bonus tip that definitely will work. Come here. Come closer. Come closer, ladies. Come on. Come on. Gather around. Gather around in a circle. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Uh, hello? Hello? Chloe? Yeah, I need you to sit down. Thank you. Squat in front of him. If none of that works, the last one, bonus point, guarantee a ring on that finger, girl. So invite me to your wedding. Just squat. Squat.